been very tempted recently to start a small series of things that can seriously fuck up your brew. This is what I skimmed off the top of a brew yesterday when I put that <clears throat> video up if I haven't already. I will make some observations about a question that was asked on a Facebook group about do you skim off the top on the hot break? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yesterday I did. This is what I skimmed off. Right? And <clears throat> what annoyed me about that group, or about the participants in that particular thread, apart from some quite elitist comments about home brewers not being able to brew their own brews, but anyway, I'll let that pass. What really annoyed me was the certainty at which some people were offering their opinion without backing it up with any firm evidence my original comment was i skim it because i don't want this shit here clogging up my hop filter now i'll show you the hop filter <coughs> sorry we've got the dishwasher and washing machine going at the same time this is if i can get to I don't know if I can get a, a decent enough. This is the hop filter. It's a very, very fine micron mesh. And the problem with this is it gets blocked too easily. Adding that shitty gunk out there to this is a recipe for disaster. As it happened yesterday, it was a recipe for disaster. Anyway, the hops just blocked it. It became a container in its own right. You can start the spin cycle just as I'm doing a video, you bastard. Um, and, and so I couldn't do the recirculation through it. I ended up taking this out, pouring it all in, and then filtering the hops afterwards. And when I say filtering the hops afterwards, that wasn't in the kettle. That was in one of the bazooka tubes, uh, or the bazooka filters in a spool tube. And I'll show you now what that left. That washing machine's determined to fuck up my video. Right, this is a, basically a bazooka in a spool tube. And um, I took this off earlier. And I've given it a chance to dry a little bit. So now let us take off. I've undone the tri clamp. And let's see if we can get this. Crikey. I think that's wedged solid in there. It's going to be a two-handed job. Sorry, folks, going to have to pause you. Now that <laughs> is what I call a good filter. Look at that. It's done its job. Right, analysis. <clears throat> this is the spare spool tube that I always have in case, <laughs> in case that one gets blocked up. That one didn't actually get blocked up until right at the very end. But this kind of usually just goes on the bottom of that sight glass. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think that's reasonable. Following that, before it goes into the plate chiller though, I have one of those little wire filters. So I'm just going to take a little look at that now. Again, that will require two hands. Right, I've just loosened this so I can take this off. But immediately I can see that it has <laughs> captured something. but not as much as I thought. So here's what I reckon happened here. As we were pulling out of the copper, that filter was actually doing its job properly. And the outside layer on here then formed a secondary filter because it did completely stop throughput it substantially attenuated the throughput 
so those are the hops it did its job very well if I was doing a if this had blocked earlier I simply would have taken this off and replaced it with the spare that I keep out there but that is an awful lot of material in here that has been captured by that filter I know some people are now going to say oh, why don't you keep those and use them for bittering hops and it's because I won't know which of these was the ones that I put in at flame out and which were the ones that I put in for the 60 minute boil anyway I think that is reasonably good filtering uh, and this was an idea from uh, if you if you do any of the Facebook groups <laughs> if you still do any of the Facebook groups if you haven't lost the will to live because of all the so-called fucking experts who are quite prepared to give you advice provided that you then treat them as demigods um, <laughs> and never challenge never challenge their wisdom for imparting their knowledge onto you without any supporting evidence just because I've always done it this way and it's been fine you know, working in research for 40 odd years the phrase that strikes fear into every researcher and into every everyone who has a desire to find to seek the truth the worst phrase is we've always done it this way <laughs> so if you still if you're still a member of these various oh, that water's cold facebook groups this is an idea from a guy called clive sillis norfolk hillbilly on um youtube and um Clive's always mucking about with different ideas and um, so these, this, uh, well this was a little mod that I did but there's another connector that goes on here so this is all kind of like, it's all Clive's fault so if you don't like me wibbling on about idiots who say eh, well I always skim or I always don't skim or if you do skim you've ruined your beer um, anyone who doesn't like any of those comments blame Clive but Clive's um, quite innovative in many ways and this particular idea of his has proved to be efficacious anyway that's only a very very short video because I'm sick and tired of fuckwits who proffer themselves as experts um, and apart from anything else it ruins the fun of it um, I am probably the first person to admit I'm not an expert that's a part of the draw for me every brew is a new learning experience and with the hundreds that I've kind of like got under my belt now I'm still the first person to admit that there's so much that I don't know and that's the that's the great thing so I'll, I'll sometimes give an opinion but I'll hopefully try and back it up with a reason or a rationale or some evidence the whole thing about skimming, I think, is proven by the fact that I didn't want this shit in my brew. Because it, it wouldn't have just disappeared. It would have gone somewhere. It either ended up in the fermenter or wherever. I don't want it. So that purely is opinion. That's my opinion, hopefully backed up with a little bit of rationale. So there we have... <laughs> To skim or not to skim, hot brake skimming and hot filtering. I'll think of a I'll think of a nice um, a nice title for the video. If you like this rubbish, please subscribe. If you've got this far, congratulations. <laughs> I salute you. For now, that's it boys and girls.